we did today was invite children over to Cannonsburg to um, learn a little bit more about um, how the vegetables get on their plate, where they come from, how they grow in the garden, how, um, how they have to be prepared, uh, how they're cooked, how that might have happened 100, 150 years ago. And we can go to the grocery store now and buy vegetables all prepared, ready to go, ready to pop in the microwave. Today what we did was we took green beans and we broke beans. We sat on the floor and we broke the ends off the beans and then snapped them into small bite-sized pieces and talked a little bit about how they might be, how they would be cooked. We broke uh, English peas, we broke the pea pod open and they all learned today, much to their surprise and amazement, that you can actually just eat those peas fresh out. You don't have to cook them. They're real sweet. They're very good. Um, so I don't think any of the kids today had ever um, taken peas out of, out of the shell before. And then we also shucked corn. Maybe one of them had already shucked corn, but just learning how to peel the husks off. Uh, why the, we learned why the corn silk was there and you know how that's necessary um, in order for corn to pollinate and form the kernels. Learned you can break that corn in half and break it into more of a, an individual serving and talked about you can eat corn raw as well. All of these were young elementary age kids and I know most of the schools have uh, gardens or greenhouses and they're um, learning a little bit more about how their food is, you know, where it actually comes from, you know, from farm to when it's actually on their school lunch tray, how it's prepared. Uh, we talked a little bit about the nutritional value of some of it. Um, just. It doesn't just come from the store, you know, it, and um, some of it comes from a garden, big farms, and we also, they learned that uh, a lot of the corn in this country, a great deal of it, is not even for people. It's feed corn, and if you tried to eat it, it would not taste good, like the good sweet corn that we eat. We are trying to have more and more small programs, just short and simple, but to teach children a little bit about how life was, a hundred years ago, Cannonsburg represents, oh, really from maybe the early 1800s to early 1900s, and um, people lived a different way. Sometimes we make our own butter and make biscuits. Um, we have dress-up days where we get the old-fashioned clothing, so if you're interested in the little house on the prairie look, you know, you get to dress up. Um, we learn some crafts that um, uh, people would have done a long time ago, not just for fun, they would have done it for ne out of necessity, some uh, weaving skills, and uh, so we hope to have a lot of other programs in the future that incorporate some of the ways that, that people who lived during that time would, and those skills that they would need in order just to get through everyday life.